What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to list all the sheet names and headers on each of those sheets for a user selected file. So let's get into it. All right. So on the left, got my VBA editor. On the right, got my Excel file. It's empty here. And on the bottom right, I've got a few files that we're going to grab the headers and sheet names from to kind of see how this thing works. So first let's go ahead and get our sub going um, so this sub is going to be called list sheet names and headers and then we'll declare our variables we're going to use a file picker it's file dialog and then my path as a string then we're going to have our worksheet variable ws as actually sorry worksheet yep worksheet and then we're going to do we're going to count the number of sheets so that's going to be our sheet count variable and we'll just make that an integer um, we'll have a head count or count our headers that'll also be an integer and then we're going to use variables i and j as integers <clears throat> and then um, let's get our sheet name that's going to be a string and then finally we're going to have our header name and that's also going to be a string all right so let's do let's set our worksheet equal to this workbook sheets and you see the sheet name here is sheet one. Um, we can change this if you want, but for now, let's just leave it as sheet one. Oops. And then we're going to set our file picker equal to application file dialog and we're going to do MSO file picker here and then with our file picker and then we can end our with <clears throat> inside of here we're going to have our title so we could just say please select Please select your file. And then um, allow multi select. We're going to say false so that you can only select one file at a time. Uh, our button name, um, let's go ahead and use confirm as our button name. And then if dot show equals negative one. So if we make a selection, we're going to set my path equal to selected items one. Otherwise, we're just going to end our macro. So then that's how we end our if. OK, so then we're done with our file picker. Now. What we're going to do is open up the workbook that we select. So workbooks open and our file name is going to be my path, which we determined up here. So now I'm going to set get my sheet count and the sheet count is going to be equal to sheets count but once we open up our, our workbook it's going to count the number of sheets in that workbook and then now we're going to grab our variable i and say for i equals one to our sheet count and then next i goes at the bottom of that loop bottom of our for loop i'm going to say <clears throat> our sheet name is going to be equal to sheets 
i, so this is going to be a variable that gets iterated through our loop. And what we're going to do is activate that particular sheet. And then we're going to get our header count. So our head count is going to be equal to worksheet function. And we're going to do count of uh, range is going to be starts at A1. And we're going to count down. So range A1 again. Sorry, we're not counting down. We're counting to the right because these are headers. So we're counting to the right. So XL to right. And then our worksheet, so WS, this workbook sheets one. We're going to start to populate that. So we're going to say cells one i. So you can think of these as like x y parameters, except it's flipped. So this would be y, and this would be x. So one. So you can think as the first parameter as going up and down. The second is going left to right. So um, this one means we're going to stay in column one, and then this i we're just going to be going down. So we're going to have. Sorry, this I we're going to be going to the right. So you'll, you'll see in the, in the example. So <clears throat> we're going to set that equal to our sheet name. And then we're also going to need our another for loop where we have for J equals one to our head count. Well, you know what? Let's let's just run it as is and see what we got. So let me save this, and then let's open up this cities file just so we can see what we're expecting. All right. So this has one sheet, and that sheet has a bunch of headers. Looks like eleven headers. Okay. But as of right now, we're not even grabbing all of that. So let's just run it real quick. And you can see that it has our dialog here. Please select your file. Please select your file. And then um, we're going to go to our some files folder. So if I go to test some files and then I select cities, it'll say confirm here. And it opens the file and it grabs that sheet name here, right? So now let's continue. So we're gonna to have to use another variable, j. So for j equals one to head count. And then we're gonna do next j here. Head name. It's going to be equal to sheets i dot cells one j dot text and ws cells j plus one i equals the head name. So what's happening here is we're going to be getting our header name from the sheet that's open and then we're going to be inserting it starting down one so j that's why it's j plus one and then um <clears throat> i is going to be going from left to right as we go along so the more headers we have the further down we go and then the more sheets we have the more to the right we're going to be going so what we need to do is actually after we're done, you saw the op the workbook stayed open before. We're gonna need to close that workbook. So at the outside of this this loop here, we're gonna have to do active workbook close, and we're not gonna save any changes. So we're gonna set that equal to false. So let's run it again. We select the cities workbook confirm. 
and now we have our sheet and all those headers are listed now so um, <clears throat> if I run this for another file let's say you run it for this regions file it does the same thing it grabs the headers but if I were to go back so if I go back and try to grab that cities file again you notice that data is still there from before so we need to make sure that we clear the data so let's do that here after we select the file and as long as we don't in our macro we're just going to go ahead and clear the previous data so we just do WS that we declared here this work this workbook sheet sheet one cells and then clear contents and that'll do it for us so now if I run it go to cities that gets cleared and then I have that but you also see that pop up there right the file gets opened up so let's get rid of that so we can use application screen updating and we're gonna set that equal to false and but make sure to turn it back on at the bottom so application screen updating equals true alright so now let's run it again and select donations this time boom you got all these headers or sorry the headers have be are the, the sheet names and then for each sheet name you have all your headers listed out under each under each sheet name um so yeah that's all i have for today thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe have a good one